those opportunities to learn about yourself. When you're asking yourself those positive questions, you know, what am I going to gain by being a great speaker? You're actually starting to focus on what you want, where you want to go, how you want to be. And that's tip number two. Focus on what you want. A lot of people who've had fears with public speaking spend a lot of time focusing on what they don't want, how badly things have gone in the past, everything that went wrong, what they don't want to go wrong, what they're afraid is going to happen. Now, I believe that if you look at the rock in the road, you can hit it. I really believe that we live out what we focus on. And this has been a theme through quite a few of the speeches today, that we live out what we focus on. So I tell you what, I certainly want to focus on being fantastic. I want to focus on being successful and what I want to achieve. So this is how you do that. You've done your one minute speech, you're looking in the mirror in the bathroom and you've answered the question. You get to the end and you tell yourself two or three things that you did well. What did you do well? And again, I'll have clients and saying, oh, you know, I, don't, I feel weird saying what I did well. I don't want to say what I did well. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. I was watching the other night when uh, Roger Federer was off the court. And at the end, they asked, you know, how, how did you go? Roger, how did you find that? And he said, I played really well. And then he listed a few things. I did this, I did, did this well. And I bet that he could tell you every single thing that he did well in that game. And he wasn't embarrassed, and it wasn't embarrassing. It's about knowing who are you as a speaker and what are you doing. That's really good. And so then we can work on that as a base. We want to focus on what do we want to be like and how do we want to be. Find someone who speaks like you want to speak and copy them. Pinch the good things they do. I mean, you can do that. I do that. All the time. <laughs> Nerves are incredibly destructive things. And when we focus on what we want, tip two, it actually helps us to reduce our nerves. And there's a whole lot of techniques and tools out there. Breathing, positive, powerful anchors, state change control, preparation planning. These are not secret skills being kept from you. These are things that you can learn if you're willing to put in the time and the effort to be a great speaker. And if we control our nerves and our speaking skills improve out of sight. And another thing that improves out of sight when we control our nerves is our voice. Because our voice gets hit really hard when we're nervous. You know that thing? It's kind of shrill sounding voice and <laughs> the clay, the green voice when you're a little bit nervous. And you know, some people find their voice completely disappears. Tip two, focus on what you want. Let's spend our time making happen what we really want to happen because our brain can't process negative thoughts. If I ask you to do not think of a blue elephant with yellow spots, I dare say you're thinking of a blue elephant with yellow spots and our brain doesn't go, oh, hold on a minute, that's a negative thought, they don't really mean that. What they mean is this, no, it doesn't happen. We simply make happen what we focus on. So focus on what you want.